Welcome back. Steve Norris and Elliot Klute were with us a little while ago. If you were watching, talking about the Shattering the Stigma 5K coming up tomorrow in Clawson, which you can still get involved with. But we're talking about people struggling with substance misuse. And you guys are with the Alliance of Coalitions to try and bring awareness to this. We're going to demonstrate how to use Narcan in a moment. But earlier we had talked to Elliot just about your story and how you lost your father to a drug overdose. But see, we didn't really touch on your connection to this too. You're in recovery? I am. So I'm uh, just shy of nine years. So Congratulations. Thank you so much. In the past three years, I've also had uh, quite a few loss uh, of, of close friends and family yeah. um, due to this epidemic. So this has been a big issue for me, and I'm really grateful that I get the opportunity to train the community. It's really great that you guys are able to come out, talk about it, and like Elliot kind of mentioned earlier, uh, break that stigma, which is changing pe the way people react, and you found that. Uh, well, let's talk about the Narcan part of this. Sure. Um, First of all, before you show me, uh, when do you, I guess, what are the signs mm -hmm. that somebody needs it? So there's clear indicators, right? There's loss of breath, of course. Um, usually someone who has uh, opiates in the system, their eyes will be pinned. Uh, the pupils will be very small. Okay. Um, typically when somebody's using, you'll see signs prior to having to administer. Um, so we educate our community on what to look for when that happens. And not everybody just has it laying around too. How do you make sure you have it or know where to find it? That's such a good question. So there's so many resources out there. Currently we're putting out Save a Life stations all over Oakland County that they have access to free resources such as Narcan and testing strips um, throughout the community so they can find a map on our website so if they would like to get those supplies they can go there okay awesome have either of you guys ever seen it used like in real life or? yeah oh you have in yeah. real time yes so what's that like? It's simple. Um, it's really easy to use. Go um, ahead and walk me through it. Yeah, really. Um, basically, if you encounter somebody that may be exposed to this and, and has uh, you believe is in an overdose, um, there's simply no second guessing. This medication is so safe and easy to use that even if you were wrong, it's not going to harm them in any way. Um, basically, help. you would grab a box. And inside the box, this is actually a live dose of Narcan, which I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay. You just peel it open. You would drop that into your hand. Um, you just simply insert this into the person's nostril like that. I was going to say, it looks like a nasal spray. That's it. It is. Look, just like this. Ah, oh, we're exactly. a long way from the needle directly into the heart, it's, right? It's not Pulp Fiction yeah. anymore. Because <laughs> it used to be that way, correct? Yeah, that was an adrenaline shot, but very similar. So that's right. some of the stigma and all the misinformation about what do I do? And oh my gosh, it's you know too scary to uh, administer. It's not that scary as you see, and it's yeah. completely safe. And it obviously saves lives. Yes. Uh, and, and before I let you go, Elliot, just reiterate just how talking about this, talking about substance misuse has changed in people's eyes over the years since you've been doing it. Yeah, so again, as I mentioned earlier, as I've talked about it more and more, and as it's become more kind of known to the public, more and more people have been open to talking about it and not shying away from the subject anymore. People don't get uncomfortable around it, yeah. which used to be very common. And it's just been incredible watching people be able to openly talk about it now. It's a huge first step to do that, yeah. right? Uh, great. Good luck with the uh, 5K tomorrow. Hope Thank a million you. people come out there yeah, that same. are maybe going to go to the Grand Prix later. There's a lot <laughs> going on. Do both. Yeah. yeah. But good stuff. And if you would like to attend that, it's called Shattering the Stigma 5K. Here's the information again. Tomorrow morning, Clawson City Park. Registration opens at 8. But like they said, just show up. If you want to get in it, great. Just show your support. That'll be a good stuff.